Welcome back everyone to AHSAA TV Weekly. We are excited to welcome onto our program today Spanish Fort baseball coach J.D. Pruitt and talented outfielder Pierce Dutton. Welcome guys. Hello there. How are you doing? Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Well, coach, let's start with you. Um, tell us a little bit about how your season's been going so far. Uh, I think it's going really well. Uh, I mean, we've got a fairly young team this year. We graduated 17 seniors off of last year's team. And uh, we knew coming into this year that uh, we were going to have a lot of pieces to replace. Uh, but um, uh, again, the group that we that we got this year, like I said, a fairly young group, very inexperienced group. So we knew we're, th those kids were going to have to kind of cut their teeth in a sense uh, when it came to uh, to the baseball season this year. And uh, we've played a, and, I, and honestly, we played the probably one of the toughest schedules. Um, I would I would really say in, in the state, uh, a couple of nationally ranked teams and. Uh, top teams here in the state of Alabama and uh, and for the way that our guys have, have responded this year and, and played um, uh, it's been nothing short of uh, phen phenomenal in terms of when you look at again just the inexperience that these guys have had going into the year. Well and coach uh, you know in just a minute we want to meet the young man sitting next to you but first let me ask you about a little bit of your history and how you got into coaching. Yeah so um, Originally, uh, again, here, uh, originally from here in this, within the state, went to GW Long High School and um, had played for a, a Hall of Fame coach there, Earl Miller, uh, won a couple of state championships uh, uh, during my time there and, and uh, went on to uh, Central Alabama Community College and uh, played at the University of Montevallo under current uh, Purdue head coach Greg Golf and and went to the Division II World Series uh, during my time there, and, and then was and then was drafted by the Oakland A's in the 23rd round, and and played in their farm system for a while. And and honestly, I didn't think that I wanted to coach. I actually uh, went into uh, my undergrad is in exercise science. I had always enjoyed the training aspect of of, of kind of the preparation side of uh, getting ready for competitive athletics, and so. Um, I thought I wanted to go into that. Uh, so again, coaching in a sense, but um, uh, went to Enterprise uh, High School. I got my master's from Troy. Uh, did my uh, I did an internship and a graduate uh, a, a graduate uh, degree there uh, under Richard Shaughnessy in the uh, in the uh, strength and conditioning program. And and then I went to Enterprise High School where I was the strength and conditioning coordinator uh, for the school district. Uh, did football and baseball and and then just uh matt rogers uh the principal at enterprise at the time gave me the opportunity to lead the baseball program there and and uh, and so i've been doing that uh ever since well coach that's quite a resume of success um, as a baseball player yourself and then also as a coach um so introduce us to another outstanding baseball player there sitting next to you yeah this is uh this is pierce dutton a 23 outfielder uh, committed to Shelton State. Um, uh, you know, I, I think any time that I, that I speak on Pierce's behalf, I think uh, one of the first things I always uh, talk about is really uh, what type of kid and what type of person he is before he is, before, before I say anything about him being a ball player. Uh, one of the most phenomenal and, and, and genuine people, I think, uh, uh, very mature for his age. Um, uh, again, he's... Uh, He's quite uh, quite the student athlete, uh, great leader on our team, uh, and again, that goes without saying. Everything that he can do out on the baseball field, one of the one of the most talented and uh, baseball players I've ever been around. Well, Pierce, I understand that your leadership style is a little bit more of a quiet leader, but tell us about how you feel like you fit in on your team, um, and and how you're a leader for your teammates. Well, I think uh, the big part of this year's team is how close we've gotten uh, all the all the players. I think in past times we uh, there's just been separate groups that hang out and do stuff together. But this year's team, we've kind of all been together, and it's really been a big part of our success. Well, Pierce, I understand that you have already signed with Shelton State. Your coach mentioned that. Um, what are some of your other future goals, you know, as it relates to baseball and then maybe off the field as well? Uh, I would like to transfer to a Division I school to continue baseball and uh, see where that takes me. And then I haven't really put much thought into my major and all that. So I'll have to – it's getting a little close now, so I'm going to have to make a decision soon. 
Well, Coach, let's jump back to you and this current baseball playoff that we're in now. Um, tell us how you see your team going forward this season in the playoffs. Well, again, um, you know, there's there's quite a bit of unknowns. Again, I think, you know, when you get into this setting, um, again, when you couple that with the uh, call it what you want to, and let's just be honest, the, the inexperience. Uh, and again, I think, we, you know, we had a conversation with our guys yesterday and uh, again, trying to get them to understand that that playoff baseball is is different than the regular season. I think, you know, I asked all the guys I said every, out of everyone here today who's played in a meaningful playoff series before last week. Um, and we had one guy to raise his hand. So, um, so again, you know, it's getting them to kind of understand that. But at the same time, you know, one thing that we do speak about um, on a daily basis is, is really kind of our, our core values and, and, and really the foundation of our program. And part of that is, is, is enjoy. And so we want them to enjoy this experience. We want them to enjoy the, the ride in a sense, and we want them to enjoy the journey uh, because this is the last time that this collection of guys will be able to play together. So uh, we want them to be able, we want them to have fun and we want them to enjoy it. And, and so, um, you know, it, you know, if it, if it's, if it's God's will, Hey, uh, we'll go out and we'll play well uh, this, uh, this weekend and, and beyond. Um, but, you know, what we want to do is we want to put ourselves in the best position possible and, and with great preparation and, and, uh, and, and with a mindset that, that we want to, uh, that, you know, that we want to go out and play our best ball. So, um, so again, that's all we can do. We can, we can, we can go out today, practice today and, and, and try to improve and get better and, and, and be consistent, uh, with, with what we want to try to do. And so, um, like I said, everything else will take care of itself. Well, Coach Pruitt, congratulations on taking what, what you may call inexperience, but figuring out how to find success and su such a successful season so far. And Pierce, we wish you all the best in the future, uh, finishing up this season and also as you go on to Shelton State in the fall. Thank you both for your time today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. And we'll be right back after this on HSAA TV Weekly.